Salutations, good people. It's Melissa here, back with another video. Okay, so this is going to be my uh, chatting, I guess my get ready with me to go nowhere slash, I guess, explanation. I posted a video before this. They might just come out together, but I did state in my previous video, oh, my FabFitFun unboxing, that flim flam floppy infuriating box I stated that my mother has passed away on August 23rd this Friday I'm filming this on a Thursday so it's been almost one week my mom has been gone um, this is just my whole world is just turned upside down just let's just I'm um, just being honest it's my whole world is turned upside down but uh welcome and uh, I hope you enjoy this I stated in the previous video I was going in with a color scheme and I'm totally going in with a color scheme for the face, for the face. I actually have my base already done so I kind of cheated. I thought I was recording but it wasn't. Yeah. Life just keeps, you know, drop kicking me in the face, body, and teeth, you know finisher like it's like Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter and UFC fighting in my life in my world but you know what let's not be selfish and think of the you know the picture as a whole you know the world is not under siege but it's in so much trouble but <coughs> excuse me like I was stating my world just got a little dimmer it's she, although she drove me crazy, the light, she was a light of my life. And I don't know how I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to live, obviously. It's just um, a world without my mommy monster. This is going to be difficult, you know? This is going to be difficult. But the best thing I can do is say that she is not in pain anymore, that cancer is a biatch, and she fought real hard to kick its behind. But if you have a faith system, or if you don't, she's at rest, she's at peace. I believe she is far happier than what she is now, like what she was exactly a week ago. She was miserable and in pain and uncomfortable couldn't sleep through the night cuz you no matter how she would lay she would uh she couldn't get comfortable it was very difficult for her to breathe okay so um let me just try to keep the tears at bay and let's go ahead and get into the video like we're like 5 minutes in and I've just been blathering on you guys know I'm a rambler so that's what we're going to do. Um, let's go ahead and get into my mini haul. That's right. And it's not like I went ham and went shopping at Ulta or Sephora. No, I went to the uh, dreaded Wally World. That's right. Wally World. Mm -hmm. And uh, the girl just picked up some of these because they're delicious. Well, two bags. Um, I thought I'd judge. Let's not judge. We're grief eating here. And, um, well, gum, because I love gum. Especially this kind. And three beauty items, which were dark cheap. Uh, <laughs> let me get, oh, let me sit that down. So, oof. I got, because I need to redo my nails, because they are looking mighty rough got a beautiful these are I don't know if these are I should probably triple dog check triple dog check that's like double dog there Ugh. I should triple check to see if sinful colors is cruelty free if not I just bought these and I'm going to use them I have a lot of sinful colors polish this is a beautiful I don't know if it's picking up it is a multi chrome it is I see purple I see black I see blue but I think my camera may just be picking up the green 
I don't know, but there's a beautiful multi-dimensional shift in this polish. And the name of it is called Skin Tillating. And this it has a little sticker on it that says the Naughty Nudes. And then I also got the shade Plumberry right here. Let's set this down. So if you guys hear my phone, pay no mind to this. Um, everybody decides to page me. Uh, page. Wow, like I got a beeper. Um, my nail polish. This is in the shade Plumberry. And I like it. It's a different shade of, you know, normally a girl likes these kind of bright, vibrant purples. I'm going to go with this nice wine purple and see if I, I do not have a color like this in my nail polish collection, which is over there in that big black tray. I think I've panned and shown it just a little bit, but I stick to the same color scheme when I like nail polish. I like what I like what I like and I, it's a wrap. So I got my two polishes and I picked up an e.l.f. concealer for my eyes, especially for the look I'm going to execute today. And so this is the e.l.f. Perfect Blend Concealer. Provides smooth, natural looking. Obviously, y'all, this is not in my actual shade. I'm not putting this on my face to spot conceal. As you can see, I got my topography. Um, your girl's got her hyperpigmentation. I just used a light cap coverage. I don't do heavy foundation. I do, I mean, there are moments where I like full, like a full coverage. And I mean, I want some of that spackle paste for that. I would love some. Somebody tell me what kind it is. Um, I think with um, foundation, I think I'm going back to um, Bare Minerals, which was my first foray into makeup. Oof. This is in the shade, I think, light beige. Oy vey. What am I doing? I'm slightly scared. Now, also, there is a cohesive look. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to sit around with very bright, happy makeup. So, oh, sweet baby, sweet baby back ribs. Oh, that's stark. Um, okay, but I'm going to be going in. I will show you. I think I'm going to need a little bit more. This cost me a dollar ninety-eight at the Wally World. I hate going into Walmart. Walmart is also one of the banes of my existence. That will be a video coming soon. <laughs> um. I think I slightly briefly addressed the fact that, yeah, um, you know, in all honesty, that's really not that bad. It just looks like I've been fighting or I got like at like dust in my eyes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should have just done one eye at a time because if this dries down and I'm kind of stuck, well, then this is going to be interesting. Oh, well, we live. You live, you learn. Now, my mom, she was rushed to the hospital from the rehab facility where she was at on Sunday, August 18th. They were concerned she was not breathing like, uh, you know, that was, you know, they were just concerned how her breathing was. She didn't want to eat, she didn't want to drink, she refused to take her medicine. You know, she was just utterly miserable. And she I'm gonna put this in my bag. It's actually not that's not too terrible. Um and they rushed to the emergency room on the eighteenth. So Nope. I kinda thought I set all my brushes out. Okay. 
she got admitted to the hospital. They had to put her on bypass. She had a modified DNR. Um, to a week prior to that, we were at the Illinois Cancer Care, and they were telling us, you know, maybe six months they'll put her on this pill to help slow the growth of the tumors around her neck. Not even a week later, they were also we had a consult with hospice, and not even a week later, she's rushed to the hospital on a Sunday. And okay, we get admitted that Tuesday. We still have a consult with hospice in her hospital room. She's fully conscious. She's still confused. The lack of oxygen to her brain was making her more confused than normal. My mom was very brilliant, sharp as lady you'll ever meet. Okay, let me just get this out and I'll tell you the color scheme of the look we're going for. Um, we get accepted to hospice house. And Wednesday, we move her there. And on the 21st, yeah, on the 21st, we moved her there. And we saw her. She was uncomfortable, but she was still her talking, fussing, you know, being my mommy monster, being my sister's mom, like being our mom, being Robin. <laughs> And not even 48 hours later, guys, four, not even 48 hours. She wasn't even there a full two days. Three in the morning on a Friday. My mom, my world got darker. Like, with my grandma's passing 14 years ago, my world was dim. This, your my world's gotten even a little dimmer. Like, the lights, two of the brightest lights in my life are gone. And what do you do? Like, what, and I'm just thinking, what am I going to do? <laughs> what am I going to do um, with myself? They're not. A, they're this. The best thing I can say is they're they're not suffering. Their bodies turned against them. Cancer for my mom and uh, heart complications with congestive heart failure for my grandmother. So yeah, they're not in pain anymore. Lord have mercy. And my sister calls me at 3 in the morning. She never calls me at 3 something in the morning. Let me tell you something. My sister works first shift. She's more of a morning person. I'm a night owl. And she's crying. And she tells me my mom's gone. Our mom's gone. I howled. I sounded like a werewolf. And I don't really care if I woke up any of my neighbors. The pain of losing your parents. It's like... The best way I've described it to you know, friends and, and, and co-workers and other family, I feel like I've lost my limb. Like, I, I, I'm i just, I'm an appended short. It was just severed off. And I'm being selfish because she was in so much pain. And my mom had a high pain tolerance. This is a woman that fell. I heard the bone break. She fell, broke her clavicle, her collarbone, got up and said, oh no, Peapod, mommy can drive herself to the hospital. You just broke all this here. And you have to do all this type of movement to drive. Open the door, seat belt, all of that. And this is a woman who broke bones and said, I'm fine, Peapod. Mommy can do this. But when my mom started to say, when the cancer started advancing, oh, Peapod, mommy hurts too much. It, mommy hurts so much. She never complained about hurting. I knew things were bad. I just did it. I knew things were bad. I just didn't expect it so quick, you know. Uh, so my we're trying to figure out how to do everything. Insurance companies suck. You're not in remission for six, seven years. There's no payout. So we're trying to do this out of pocket. It's very expensive, but it's going to be done. And we're going to lay our mother to rest with the the utmost dignity and respect and love that we can give her because although she's put us through the paces she gave us nothing but love so that's that and if people think I am doing this a little too early it helps it helps I live in this apartment that I shared with her alone now I've been alone for a little over a month since she's been in and out of the hospital since July 5th so this helps. I'm not so alone.
you know? Okay. Now, to explain my look. I think I mentioned in the previous video, I was very inspired by Tina, the fancy face, with her going through her collection and the Uh Huh Honey palette from ColourPop, which I'm holding a ColourPop palette. This is the Through My Eyes collaboration with I Love Sarai. Um, the color Wild Soul and it was I just to I'm all up in the, put my mug all up in the camera just to curb the consumerism because a piece of me just wants to go out and buy buy everything I can see damn my rent damn my lights damn groceries damn transportation money you know and buy that's not healthy and my mother would not want me to do that because nobody needs to be homeless up in this piece you hear me so what I've done is just gone through some of my makeup uh, not all of it but some of it just thinking is there more I'm not even going in the high end drawer we're not I'm messing around with that another ColourPop palette this is the Bretman Roth collaboration and the lit palette in the shade Cleo Amour so another yellow that's why I put down a, a white base so I could have it pop also my BH cosmetics it's my Ray Ray palette um, I think her second or third like, this is her second palette but I think they're third or fourth class I'm, I'm not sure I don't know her lipsticks were a no for me the brushes were nice and the first palette definitely wonderful and then we have these beautiful yellows right here canary and the shimmer golden girl so we've got that so I'm just going to be pulling oh knock my hammer over almost and then my C color cosmetics palette the unisex 5 this is a dupe for a palette that I still really really want but I'm holding off on purchasing because I want to make sure I make it informed and not purchase something out of grief you know what I mean this is the C Color Cosmetics palette. Oops, it is, eh? Pardon if I blinded anybody. And these shades don't have any um, names or numbers, but there's a yellow right there. And this is a dupe, if I didn't state it, pardon, for the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade palette. And I have to tell you, I've been wanting the Latte palette, the Lemonade. I want all of her palettes. I don't know what draws me to them because they're pretty bland some like the latte palette bland I remember watching the launch video in 2017 and going oh that's beautiful why do I want this so bad like and I wasn't even I stumbled upon her channel by accident I watched her content you know not religiously but I watched it quite a bit it, oopsie daisy like, I'm not trying to knock all the stuff over and it's like oh she seems cool I like it two almost two years later I still want the palette so that's how I know I want something if I can still think about it for two years that's how I knew I really wanted the Too Faced chocolate gold palette because I it always sat on my loves list or favorites or in my cart I was like I want this I want this what I said and I just kept testing myself if I really want this I want to see six to seven to almost a year later do I still really want it and yeah, I still really wanted it. And early this year, I finally got it. That was my little treat to myself. And then also, oh, pardon, the Huda Huda Huda, Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty. Uh, this is the Coral Obsessions palette. Obviously, we have this beautiful yellow right here, which I just touched into. Pro I might start with this one. I don't know. I have a lot of yellow even more this is gonna be a long video guys so just strap in I have the glam white viva taco palette that's right guys we're going into it like we're, go we're going ham we're going all in and thinking my like shimmer shade would be like the Mexican cheese right there or onions which has this beautiful yellowy shift I don't know but I, I am trying to plan a look around these options. Ooh, ooh. Let's just try to sit there. Okay, let's, there we go. We also have the burger palette. <laughs> oh yeah. 
and I mean it's cute it comes with it's little like it's adorable Ow, I just dropped that on my foot um, comes with the little grease paper and I mean probably ever I seen this on on the tube in the Instagram but it's beautiful and here we go so then I've got that beautiful shade for mustard and onion rings I figured onion rings and mustard be my shades because sweet potato fries is a little too orange and I want to keep it as monochromatic as possible and not use any browns or blacks to deepen so I'm hoping the onion rings which is like oh sorry nobody could see that pardon that color right there that they could you know deepen the shade on the side so and one last but not least my good people the pizza palette so I ran my floor is good too by the way um and then there is the extra cheese right there and the pineapple which is a shimmer shade I'm just kind of figuring out what I want to do and I think we're gonna start with the Huda Beauty palette since I touched my brush into that one first and let's pray that we get some pigment y'all because I don't put on this white base and uh, hope this mess ain't creasing that's all I can say nope it looks okay okay well that's, that's dusty and I'm not you know I'm not going for like a nice straight cat eye and I'm actually gonna mix in some of the wild soul I'm holding both palettes together <laughs> I'm just kind of dipping into one dipping into the other holding it like because there's <laughs> so and I really hope this mess shows up <laughs> if not I'm gonna be salty I'm not even I'm like it's like I followed people's tips and tricks dag I was like I got a white base maybe I let it dry too long don't know but okay it's just gonna take a little bit of um, finessing boy I need, to, I need to brush my hair so bad okay let's go ahead and just get this in the crease so um, are we close enough let's, give me one second guys better maybe um you can see some pigment as long as i don't look jaundice i'm okay with this oh and if i feel it's a little too sloppy i can always clean up the edge with a paper towel or um, a cotton round or something like that but yeah, like I stated, the overwhelming love and support from friends and family, co-workers has been beautiful. It's a very lonely. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be lonely, but it's a very lonely thing here now just without my mother it's so weird that's that's all I could describe it. it it is really weird okay Are we, I see some payoff. I see some payoff. Doesn't look too bad. Yeah, okay. So, let's keep with. I'm going to blend different yellows into my eye, in my, to my, especially into my crease. I just, I'm going to go into the C Color Cosmetics. And yeah, I'm going to use the same brush. Why? I'm trying to mix them all together. I want them 
maximum amount of payoff. By the way, Sea Color Cosmetics are really good, guys. Not pushing it. Not affiliated. Your girl has little to no money. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, okay. One of my, you know. And the reason why I really enjoyed, and I think Anelica Nyquist uh, released a video duping or creating what the Urban Decay Honey Palette um, should also look like. I'm not mad at the Urban Decay Honey Palette. Like, I'm not a naked or a naked honey because it's a basic palette, which is what naked, like, their, their heat, or excuse me, not heat, but their naked series is. It's the colors of whatever color scheme they have basic like very naked stripped back bare hence the, the title Nikki um and so instead of like beautiful vibrant yellow deep golden rich honey like one of my favorite honey is Hanukkah honey and it's it's beautiful and then also there is royal jelly um which is also i think that's honey and the how it oh it's beautiful there are just and then some ham hamber <laughs> honey is amber i was taking honey and amber and made a portmanteau um it's like that beautiful amber crystalline yellowy orangey burnt colors honey comes in very many shades i think i'm probably gonna bring in that onion ring shade or something from the burger palette um, to deepen once we get this and everything. I'm just gonna bring it out and just not wing it much. I don't have any fun bright um, yellow eyeliner. Probably gonna go in with brown. Brown. Yeah, brown. Or bronze if I can find a bronze that would be pretty okay just a few more passes with the C color cosmetics unisex 5 palette I think this is coming out really well and I'm going to use a different brush to diffuse it further up to I'm gonna probably bring it up closer to my brow not gonna do anything too fancy with my brows and then probably put a little bit of brow gel in there from Vits and Williams I'm trying to use that up I hate the spoolie it's really hard it's pulled out some of my very sparse brow hairs anyway so we're about to chuck the deuces to that once this baby gets empty because uh, I don't buy a lot of brow products and I really wish I still had the brow gal by T Tanya Crooks or Crooks um that was so good I got it in a boxy and then Shame Ashley also got it in her boxy and gave it to me. So I had two and it took me over, like it took me a year to get through both tubes. So about six, seven months uh, each tube usage, which was great. Um, okay, I think I'm done with the unisex five. So yeah, these are dirt cheap, by the way. They're great palettes, guys. I'm just letting you know. Why is everybody in their mama trying to call me anyway? Like, Everybody. Okay. Just my sister. Texting. Just bugging me. She means well. She loves me. I don't know. I mean, I'm still gonna. Mm, let me set that brush here. Pardon. That there, and I thought I was gonna use this brush set that I found when I was de decluttering and going through my makeup collection. I found this Luxie brush set I got in a boxy charm. I was like, "Ooh, I'll use this one too." And uh, I just found it at the back of the drawer. Like your girl has way too much makeup. My sister goes, "You need to slow your roll. You got enough makeup for 2021 and 2022." I was like. Yeah, I do. And that's one of the reasons about the consumerism. There was this beautiful comment um, by, I think she's a microbiologist or a chemist, and now she's in beauty. And I think she's got a channel. I meant to, I'm gonna have to go back to the Fancy Faces channel. And um, that's the shader. I need the big fluffy. Where's my fluffy brush? I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Cleo Amore. 
Oh, that's bright and sunny, and that's what I need, considering it is not bright and sunny outside. It's, what, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and it's looking all sad. And I'm just going to diffuse that up top just a little. Just to, I guess, settle on some of that white. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, but, you know, products, it's been coming out lately, was it? I was watching Jen Love Reviews, and, because she's one of my favorite channels, and my, she is from where I'm from. She is from Montgomery County, Maryland. She graduated from Wheaton High School, Mo Moco County. She still lives in Maryland. Um, go Jen. I love her. Um... Yes, I, I'm, one, I'm one of those weird people that is regional and I will support people that are from my area. Like, I love Wale, the rapper, just because he grew up 30 minutes away from where I lived. <laughs> so, he's from Maryland. He grew up in, like, Gaithersburg. He went to, like, uh, Quince Orchard, I think. Only reason I know that is because my Aunt Abby, my grandma's little sister, owned a house out there. And um, my cousin Courtney lived there and um, Aunt Abby's daughter. And I thought maybe the, she was going to live here and raise her beautiful babies here. My little cousins, Jeffrey. And well, now, and then when she moved away, she had the beautiful little Alex. She's a little girl. She, well, not a little girl anymore. She's a teenager. I think she's about to graduate high school. Or she hasn't already. That's bad when you can't keep track of your own family. That's terrible. Um, so I'm just building it up and just making it a little bit more fluffy. Because I already knew, well, also with consumerism with the video, Jen mentioned how Kevin James Barnett, the makeup artist, uh, was saying, you know, with like with these multiple releases, I just have my Huda palette and using the mirror um, while holding this one. The multiple releases is to drive sales, and what they're trying to do is have smaller curated releases for the consumer to come into the store multiple times so if they release multiple releases in a month you know in a four to eight week period that means the consumer has come into the shop at least two to three times and they're banking banking on the fact that if we're coming into the brick and mortar or on the website that you know looking around clicking around looking at the new releases that we as the consumers may oh, that's glittery um the, I hit the back of this and glitter went everywhere um will purchase something from the site or from the store it may not be that particular release but something will catch our eye and we will purchase it and so it'll drive up sales so this is just a marketing ploy and I think a lot of you who even talk about it, I'm not going to touch too much on it because Jen Loves Reviews and Tina from The Fancy Face, the two videos that I watched and really loved, um, covered it far better than, what am I, like 33, oh, see, it's not bad, it's not bad, um, covered it uh, far more in depth and a little bit better than I did. Um, I think it was in Jen Loves Reviews, uh, What's New in Makeup, and then the live chat. Um, I will leave their channels linked below and you can it's like in their recent feed of videos so you can check it out if you like uh, da, 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 da. but what they're trying to do is drive up sales and the biggest one or the one that's been causing people to kind of go hmm is ABH is Anastasia of Beverly Hills and they just really the, the Jackie Ida palette just released on like earlier this month it's still August not even three whole weeks ago on the 15th I think it was released in stores or physically in stores and then it was uh, available online a few days prior to that and then Ulta Sephora and the ABH website so and then they released the Norvina volume 2 I guess like a pro palette when I saw it I originally thought like my friend Allie she's a nurse at at the hospital where I work and she actually took care of my mom in the OR um she's wonderful she's a wonderful girl she also loves makeup I talked to her about makeup at work too um she was she sent me a screenshot of it and when I saw it I was like oh my god that's gorgeous 
And yeah, everyone's like, oh, that's ugly. I liked it because my eyes immediately, where do my little beady eyes go? My eyes aren't beady, but where do my little beady eyes go? The purple. One, the package is purple. Two, there's like two rows. There's at least 10, 11, 12 shades of purple that are that are just like up my alley. I'm not a big fan of lavendery purples. I love deep purples. I even love vibrant purples like my nail polish, you know? I like to wear them on my nails. I don't like to wear necessarily this type of color on my lip. I like a dark blackened purple on my lip or it's almost like a little bit of a fuchsia undertone with how I like some of my um, my lip gloss, which it's from Fifth and Wild, but it is the best opaque lip gloss I own from their Zodiac collection. It's in the shade Aries. So let me finish up diffusing this up to my brow pretty much so you know it's not looking bad it's not looking bad at all and you guys when I say this helps it does help because me talking about this makeup and beauty and, and science and, and, and healthcare it, it keeps me well you know it doesn't keep the thoughts at bay it keeps the tears and I trust in in almost a week I never thought I could cry so much but anyway back to the makeup um, so my little beady eyes just go right to the purples and again I like a certain shades of purple the Patograph purple rain from the La Vion Rose um, six pan palette I love that's probably my favorite shade uh, the violet Voss indigo like I've purples on my neutrals I have a video if I can remember I will link that one down below where purple like my favorite shades of purple it was only part one I'm still going to probably film a part two and three or four or five because literally and people overuse that word but I do I have dozens of purples and it's not just the actual shade because I can swatch or put up two shades of purple right next to each other and you're just gonna like Melissa what's the difference or Bele, she'll probably go and go there. These look the same. She's one of my few friends that actually calls me by my middle name, <laughs> so it's fine. Um, I love her for it anyway. Um, you know, they'll look the same. And it's just like, what's the difference? It's purple. I'm like, whoa, 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 bright there's dark there's deep and, like, and also texture the feel of the shadow the texture of the shadow oh and I, I, even though I have gone and I'm still undergoing my cruelty free uh, transition in life with beauty personal care food items I'm trying sustainable clothing I'm trying to be more conscientious about what I'm doing to the environment in my current environment you know just all around but I own a lot of high-end makeup and I have no intention of just be like I'm gonna throw you in the garbage no also oh my gosh I bounce around so much what I was talking about earlier the microbiologist or chemist who made this comment yes as consumers with all these purchases or purchases releases what this is doing is driving up you know stuff that's gonna be in a landfill it's just you know creating more and more garbage and that's just unnecessary I think I'm done using the lip palette which I feel helps blending multiple yellows together and let's just sit that down right here okay I'm gonna set my Blendy brushed out. Blendy. Wow. I'm so adult. <laughs> and let's see. I'm going to go into the It's My Ray Ray Canary. I'm just going to put a little bit of that right here. Use this Ruby Kiss brush. And all the brushes I've used, they're fair brushes. Um, my friend Lolo, hello Lauren, um, gave them to me from her Ipsy glam bag um, earlier this year she gave me her palette and she's like Melissa I'm not gonna wear these colors it was the uh, Tetris palette I think it was the July 
June or July box. So we're just going to go ahead and just put that, just pack it a little bit because I just want to brighten. See, there we go. I'm just going to create a very small, very small gradient in the crease and I could keep that all matte, couldn't I? I could, but your girl loves a good shimmer. I love a good metallic shade. <laughs> So we're going to put this on the corner. But anyway, because your girl rambles and I'm literally jumping from one lily pad to another <laughs> or one thought from another, you have to just bear with me. <laughs> so how this chemist, the scientist, made the comment is that we can only enjoy our makeup for so long without it going bad because, you know, things, the emollients, the ingredients, the powders, things, things will start to break down after the shelf life. Uh, some palettes have a shelf life of 12 months. Ooh. Kick that. We, we good? We good, camera? You good? I'm good. Okay. And some palettes have a shelf life of 18 months. I've seen some now that have a shelf life of 24 months, which is great. I'm just wondering, well, what are you putting in it? It's 24 months from opening or purchase. Now, basically, a lot of us and that's very using a generalization. Let's let's do this again. There is a niche or there is a market or a group of people and I'm gonna put myself in there. Um that collect makeup. I, I love to collect keychains, I love to collect um elephant figurines. That is something that my mom started me on. I have a huge collection of elephant figurines that my mommy got me. Um, they used to be hers and then she said well baby girl like peapod baby girl these are yours because you love these things so much and I do I love elephants um, and let's see oh yeah 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 this is what this whole look is what that take me back to Brazil palette that I hate so much should be like okay but Shmi that don't worry about it Shmi we're going to in a couple of weeks, once we settle things down, funeral, burial, a bit, you know, getting my rent paid, we will worry about that accursed palette and that the fact that I'm probably using it wrong. And that's the take me back to Brazil. And I'm not going to lie, y'all, I want that take me back to Ibiza palette from BH Cosmetics. It's the completionist. It, and it's something I'm having to break myself of. And break myself hard. Because, let's be honest, I have about a hundred some odd palettes. I have hundreds, probably. I'm going to admit this out loud. I lost count after 190. And that was almost a year ago. <laughs> um, that I had palettes. Now, thankfully, I have decluttered, given away... I don't really sell. I've, I've sold a little bit of my makeup. Not on Posh, but with like friends and give me a couple bucks and we just trade or sell. With Shamashley, we trade. If there's something she doesn't like, I give it to her. My friend Lauren, I traded my crown palette I got from a boxy charm, which was super duper neutral. And that's just more her speed. Um, Lauren is Lolo. Lolo equals AKA Lauren. <laughs> um, Shamashley, actually. <laughs> and Bele is Bailey <laughs> or B. Um, there's no way I'm going to get through and use all of my makeup considering how much I have. Like, I really don't need to purchase. Now, there is some makeup I have panned. When there is a product I utilize and use, I pan. Like, I've shown in my everyday, like, makeup bag, my BH Cosmetics, you know, the, the matte powder, which I'm probably going to use to set my face after this. She's getting, you know, she is getting used and, you know, I have a back, I have two backups. I don't have to purchase one too light. Even the one that's too light is fine because more than likely it'll be fine. It'll melt once I spray into my foundation. It's fine. I'm going to use it. I'm not going to waste it. We are going to use it. End of story. And uh, the Vetsin Veil palette, the VI Purple palette, I get pan on two colors already like there are things 
I can hit pan on. I used to constantly hit pan on those L'Oreal three, like the one swipe eyeshadow. That was my thing before I knew how to even finagle and put on my own eyeshadow, like how I'm trying to do. <laughs> I um, just utilized that one swipe palette, you know, and it was easy. I went through probably, I think I've said this in one of my older, like in another video, an older video, slightly older video. It's not that old. Um, I went through over a dozen of those. I still have one and I'm only keeping it for sentimental purposes. It's still good. I checked the expiration. Date. It's still within its expiration date and I really feel like I should give it to somebody that's going to use it. That is a neutral lover or for me I had a job and it wasn't even a corporate world. It was a call center. And then you know I did temp jobs. Uh, for a hot second like temp, you know, a few little temp jobs and you know a little few odd jobs so you know you I did not need to come in wearing bright yellow eyeshadow so and the thing is I was told oh you know you're a neutral girl you're a brown neutral girl living in a neutral world you should just wear neutrals and then I started getting in fi finally utilizing YouTube for more than just listening to music because that's exactly what I use YouTube for which was to listen to music and then I started following and finding these content creators. I'm like, ooh, makeup. Okay, but I really didn't fall into the makeup hole until I got into it and I wore makeup. Foundation mostly and the same little eyeshadow and foundation, which I think I've said, if I'm not, I'm going to circle back to it. Bare Minerals. I'm going back to Bare Minerals or Cover Effects. Like I really enjoy them. It's pricey, but it lasts me a long time. My Bare Minerals foundation lasted me eight years. Now look, y'all. It's a powder product. I shouldn't have used it that long, but it asked. It lasted a long time. Okay, six. It lasts almost eight years. Eight, eight years for the original package. It's a lot of product, man. And if it's as full as it is, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. Or the NYX Control Dropper, but I want to get Shade Match. I want to go into the store and have like a sales associate and a friend look at me, shine some lights, and get me the right shade. Because it's like 13, 14 bucks, but I want to make sure because it's a dropper and you can build up your foundation. It's like that foundation serum type of deal. I like that. So, Cover Effects, NYX, or Bare Minerals. That's all I'm looking at. I'm not looking at all these other foundations. There's too many. But anywho, we cannot use, as consumers, we cannot use, and collectors, so we cannot use up all of these products. Now, that Vincent Vile palette, yeah, I've panned it. I've already panned a couple shades on it. There's a shade or two that I really don't use. I use that really light taupe, taupey shade to blend out. Ooh, -wee, we already almost an hour in, you guys. So let's go ahead. We're going to get this all finito real fast. I've just been talking a lot. Uh, let's see. Did I really need this? I don't know. Was Mexican cheese or cheddar? You know what? Let's put a little bit of cheddar on the lid. Oh. Holy moly. Yeah. Okay. Cheddar it is. Just taking it on my finger, guys. Normally, you know, you really like to use a brush, but you know what? We're just going to. That's not bad. Now, there you go. You can dupe the honey palette. You don't have to buy it. And also, just to kind of recap all my thoughts here. So consumerism, bad, okay? And I'm guilty of it. <laughs> um, will I probably buy some makeup? Probably, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. I'm probably gonna buy it, but I'm not gonna purchase anything for a while. Because going through my makeup and decluttering and I'm just, you know, I'm getting rid of things I don't need or really like and things that don't really like make me go ooh la la not the ooh la la palette from <laughs> Colourpop but just ooh la la like the Tresemme commercial song jingle 
up. And I'm just trying to use what I have and a little bit fallouty. <laughs> so there we go. I'm already at 50 minutes, y'all. So if my camera cuts off, there will be a part two. Okay, there'll probably be a part two. You know what? We're gonna do it. So part two's coming up. Peace easy. I will see you in like a few minutes.